Hi, my name is Steve Rowe, and I'm a candidate for the Democratic nomination for governor for the state of Maine for the year 2010. And I'm running for governor to improve the lives of Maine people and to improve our state's economy. Uh, and uh, Maine, as we know, Maine workers and businesses have been well known uh, for, for decades and even centuries uh, for our high quality and our high reliability. And we know that Maine workers have always been known for their strong work ethic. Uh, but there's something else that Maine people are known for, and that's their creative spirit. Uh, there's so much creativity and innovation here in the state of Maine. Uh, moving forward, we talk about a creative economy. We're going to have to have a creative economy to move forward because we're not going to be able to compete based on low price, high volume goods. We're going to compete based on creativity and innovation in the workplace, making products and services and applications uh, and, and ideas that are unique, that are different, that are better, that are faster. That's how we're going to compete. Uh, we already have a creative economy, but we need to build on it. Um, and, and I believe that one of the things that really is, is it creates a creative economy is creative workers. And I would like to infuse the artistic process more in public education and all education in the state of Maine. Uh, that we, we make sure that art is seen as more than just a painting or a book or a performance or a craft. That art is a process and that it's taught and that children are allowed to unleash their artistic potential and their creative potential uh, during schools and that we involve art in, throughout all content areas. I also, also believe that, that teachers ought to have more professional development in the artistic process and uh, that's something that I, I would like to, to really uh, try to incentivize in our schools. Um, Maine is a, is a tremendous place and certainly part of the, the success of our economy has been the arts and cultural organizations and artists here in the state of Maine. Right now we have over 9,000 uh, businesses in the state that are, even, that are either cart, uh, art or cultural businesses and they account for about two billion dollars a year in, uh, in sales. That's significant. So, you know, the, the art and cultural community uh, has been overlooked, I believe. It has been underappreciated. It's been seen as part of the quality of place that makes Maine, but it's actually a strong economic driver in our state's economy. And as governor, I want to help lift that up, and I want to help put the spotlight on our arts and cultural organizations in the state. Also, on the impact that arts and cultural uh, businesses have to our state's uh, tourism. Uh, as we know, people who come to Maine for arts and, and tourism opportunities spend more money here. So there are significant ripple effects from that. Uh, there are things we need to do. We need to, I, I mentioned our education, we need to make sure that artists uh, have access to uh, economic development programs and entrepreneurial programs that work for them. We need to make sure they have access to capital. Obviously, affordable housing health care is important to everyone, but particularly you know, for, for people who may be aspiring artists in the state of Maine. So I want to make sure that, that we hold up the arts, we hold up cultural organizations in the state, not, not as something that would, is nice to do if we have, you know, extra time or money, but things, these are organizations and people that are essential uh, to our state's economic future, essential to our state's economic future. And, and we have to view, I think, arts and, I know we do, arts and cultural uh, businesses in the same way that we view other businesses they're, they're economic drivers, so that's really, that's really important. And I guess the final thing I would say is just that, again, uh, our future lies in creativity and innovation. Those two words are terribly important, and the other is co connectivity. Uh, part, of, part of when we talk about a creative economy, we're talking, about, uh, we're talking about creativity, we're talking about communications, and we're talking about communities. And that's what we have when we talk about arts and cultural organizations, it's bringing that together. So I believe that the best days for the state of Maine are in front of us, not behind us. And I believe that arts and cultural organizations will play a large part in, that, in, the, in, in getting us where, where we know we can go.